You're not the same person I thought I knew. You've changed. Let's end this. He hurled these painful words to me one day. The words were a weapon that ground me to dust. The love of my three-year-long relationship was suddenly nothing but ashes. One short breath could make it disappear. I could hear my heart breaking. My emotions were churning, switching from pleading for answers. Why can't he try harder to make our relationship work? To the anger of betrayal. That jerk. He should be more understanding. Crying used to be a healthy, occasional cleansing release for me. But now it had become an unwanted habit for me. Day by day, I was imprisoned in the darkest corner of my mind. My daily routine consisted of lying in bed the whole day filled with endless, mindless scrolling through social media. Every time I would happen upon photos of my friends with their significant others, I'd find myself crying again. I felt changed. Instead of being happy for them like I was before, I felt envious. I couldn't help but think, maybe I did change. Maybe it's true that it's my fault our relationship ended. I understood I needed help and sought therapy, which was good, but it wasn't enough. So I turned to my closest friends for support. Yes, those same friends I found myself envying. Then came the wave of guilt. I cleared all of my friends from my social media. I removed myself from my closest friends chat group. The envy that built up inside of me made me feel unworthy of my friends' love. I felt I was a burden. One of them seemed to confirm this thought when she said, You're not trying hard enough not to be depressed. You're just draining the life out of our friend group. Just snap out of it. I lashed out when she said that. I even turned down each of my friends who reached out to me. I was crushed by yet another wave of sadness. I found myself being stuck in a vicious loop of sadness, anger, and guilt, and feeling unworthy of love. I isolated myself from the world. Even though I was the one who turned them away, it felt like all my closest friends distanced themselves from me. I began to really believe that I was a burden, that I had become the person who leeches from everyone for attention. I felt like I was some egomaniacal lost cause whom everyone had left because of this awful change. Then one day my therapist told me something that switched some sort of release in me. They said, The constant fact in life is change. This nudged me to think of my situation from a different perspective. Maybe instead of this being an ending with nowhere to go, this was a turning point in my life. Perhaps this lowest point is a stepping stone to change. A change for the better. Depression puts you through a dark and lonely journey. To those who have lost all their emotional support, to those who are still battling depression, to those who feel like life is meaningless, I want you to know that you're not alone and you deserve to be loved and cherished. You are not a burden. You are not a mistake. You are important.